Hey guys, Sarah here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing my February favorites, so if you're interested in that, keep watching. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe before you leave so you don't miss any of my future videos. All right, let's get into it. I posted so much in January, and then February was just insane, and I just missed out on posting. So I am going to be trying my hardest to get back on track for March. So I'm sorry about that. I feel like I completely failed in February, but we did have to move out of our office space. And so I was busy getting the spot that we're going to be, or that we are moved into here. I was painting and doing all the things in there and then also moving and getting all of that situated. So it was just a very busy month on top of, you know, life stuff. So I definitely didn't post nearly as much as I wanted to during February, but I have all of my videos planned out for March. So I'm really, really hoping to be able to stay on track this month. Per usual, everything that I was loving for the month was super random. That's just how it goes. Everything will be linked down below in the description box if you are interested in it. And yeah, let's talk about stuff that I've been loving. First, this top, I am obsessed with it. I've been wearing it for a couple of months now, but it is from SB, which is my brand. And we didn't launch it until, I wanna say it was a week ago or two weeks ago we launched it, maybe. And I am just obsessed with it. I love the color combo. I think it is so pretty and unique. It's like a nice lightweight, like blousey material. So it sits really nicely. It would look so cute with cut off jean shorts. And I think I actually have a couple of photos of me in it. And if I can find those, I will pop them up on the screen for you. But it is just super flattering. And I think that the sizing is really forgiving. It's just a really great top that will take you from now all the way through summer, fall. Like it's a great piece to layer but it's also really cute on its own i also think the texture is so unique it's not itchy at all i do not do itchy clothing i refuse so it's just really nice and comfy next up is the thing that has been the absolute most requested for us to do and it is personalized bracelets. We've offered them here and there through pre-sales, but we've never offered them just all the time. And so we just launched that. And not only do we have the options that we had before, but we also added in a few new options, which I think are absolutely beautiful. We have the classic Emma, which is a bracelet I have been wearing for months. It has the gold filled beads, so they don't tarnish. They're just really, really high quality. You can wear them in the shower, working out like through your daily life and they don't get ruined which I just absolutely love so that is the Emma we are also offering these in the gold beads the gold letters or the black letters so you get to choose and then also obviously choose um, which beads you want so let me show you the other beads really quickly this is the Ava it has the howlite beads which are just a gray and white marble bead are you going to sleep? Huh? Can I have a hug? Oh, I love you so much. Sweet dreams. Oh, I love you. I'll see you when you wake up, okay? I have my hair back. Thank you. Good night. The Mila has a mix of sun and moon beads. So this is the Mia. This is, I never know how to say the name of the stone, but it's like Rhodonite maybe or Rondonite. I don't know. Anyway, it's really, really pretty. It shades of like mauvey pink. Oh my gosh, so beautiful. And then lastly, we have the Olivia, which is made of our fog colored beads. I'll link all of these options in the description box. I also have a little code for my YouTube fam. So if you want to get a little discount code on everything on Aspie's site, that will be linked below too. And my necklace is from there as well. It's the bar necklace. Absolutely love it. I've talked about the sugar lip treatment a million times, but they recently came out with the Sugar Rush. It's a limited edition, I guess, scent. Uh, anyway, I was in Sephora last month and I saw this and so I decided to try it out. It's just clear. I've been just loving the clear because I kiss Theo a million times a day, but this smells so good. Yeah, it's, it's amazing and it feels good on your lips too. 
It just feels almost cooling. It's just the same formula, but infused with the citrus and I just absolutely love it. So if you like something that's a little bit cooling, it's not like cold, but just a little, a little cooling and it smells like citrus, which is one of my favorite scents. So I've been loving this. After having my hair dryer for, I think I had it for like eight or nine years, I finally got a new hair dryer. This is the T3 Featherweight something or other. <laughs> I don't remember the name of it, um, but I will link it below. I got it from Costco, so, and it was on sale at Costco, so I will link that if you are a Costco member, but if you're not, I think that you can get this one on Amazon too. Anyway, I love it. One, it's beautiful, of course, just like all T3 items are, but what I really like about this is that the cool shot actually clicks into place, and so you don't have to hold it the whole time you're doing the cool. After I dry my hair, I always do a cool shot just to kind of like set it in place and try to keep that volume. And I've been trying to be better with my cords, so I'm actually using the Velcro piece that comes with it so that it can just be in my drawer instead of like hanging out on the floor in a mess because Theo is obsessed with all cords. So I've been trying to be better about putting them away. And I like that this is just convenient. It has its own Velcro piece and yeah, just sits nicely in my drawer. But this is, it's really powerful. <laughs> I just realized I haven't talked anything about like how it actually works. It's just as powerful as my last one, which was um, a babyless, I want to say. Anyway, it has a few different settings for heat and for power, and it dries my hair very, very quickly. Full disclosure, I have very um, easy hair, very low maintenance hair. My hair is naturally straight, so and it's fine. I have quite a bit of it, but it is fine. So it dries quickly anyway, so I don't need like the best of the best hair dryer, but this definitely gets the job done, dries my hair super quickly. I finally got a new phone case. It had been like, I don't know, a couple of years since I had the last one. I got another loopy case. It's just, this is the only kind of phone case that I use because it's so convenient. You can hold on to your phone. You can hold it this way and have hands free and still be holding on to it and not having it drop. But I've noticed that with these, the edge of it is clear. And so it gets really gross after a while. It kind of starts turning like brown so I ended up getting a new one this is the white ombre I think it is so beautiful and neutral I just love neutral colors the loop is adjustable so you can make it bigger or smaller and I do one or two fingers in there so it's a little bit tight with two but it's a little bit loose with one that's just what I do you can obviously do whatever you want but I like that I can hold on to it and still reach like the the far side of my screen. These are just the best of the best cases. They are a little bit pricier than just like a case you could get at Target or Amazon, but they are well worth it. And I do think that I have a discount code still, which I will link it. I don't get anything from it, but it's a discount. So that's that. I want to say it was in my favorites last month that I was talking about um, the pastel highlighters, which I will link them below if you missed that. They're just incredible. But I got so many messages, like a weird amount of messages about that on Instagram. I, I didn't realize that everyone else was as obsessed with office supplies as I was, but um, I got a few questions about what pens I use and the pens that I love actually, I think have been discontinued. So I was using the Sharpie felt tip pens and I can't find the tip that I was using. I can find the the fine point still, but I think I was using the 1.2 millimeter, I want to say. I ordered some on Amazon that said that they were the medium tip, uh, but they were actually a fine tip. So I can find the 0.4 and the 0.7, I want to say, but I can't find the 1.2. Anyway, I'm nerding out on pens. Either way, I did find a replacement for that, and these are the Papermate Flare in the medium, but they do actually have a bold. I just can't find the bold in black. I can find the bold in other colors. So I'm gonna try and find the bold in black and order those, but I got a package of them. They're really good. They're not as bold because the tip is a little bit smaller than the Sharpie tip that I was using, but these are 0.7. I think they also have 
finer tips if you like that. I just like a nice like bold smooth pen. So these yeah are the 0.7 medium tip flare from Papermate. You can get them anywhere like Target, Amazon, wherever. So this is my current replacement of my favorite pens. Looking at the items I have left I'm realizing like 25 year old Sarah would be so disappointed <laughs> in 35 year old Sarah and what I'm excited about but that's just where we're at in life and I want to show you guys what I love because maybe some of you guys are at this point too where you love random things that make your life easier. I got a new set of containers for all of our baking dry products and the set comes with six I think two that are this size and then there's one for flour sugar brown sugar and powdered sugar and then the two small each container has specific things it's just designed perfectly in my opinion so this container is the size of a bag of flour so you can put a full bag of flour in here and then not get flour all over this room. This clicks out and clicks back into place on the top. You can use your measuring cups and then level it out against this so you get like the perfectly level flour. This is the powdered sugar. Again, this fits a one pound bag of powdered sugar. And then on the inside, it has that same leveling. And then this is a scoop that has a scoop side. And then it also has a sifter side. So you can just scoop in there and then sift over like French toast or something like that. So it just has the perfect things and I love that they fit right into the top. And then there are two of these which would work for like a baking soda, baking powder. You could even do like sprinkles or something like that in here. And this one has this little cap with the sifter on top so you can just sprinkle or you can open this up and again you can use this to level out against the edge of it. The plain sugar has a little spout on the top that you can pour the sugar. The brown sugar has a little terracotta coin thing that goes in there so that it keeps the brown sugar nice and soft like every single one was so thought out and I'm just I'm so impressed they're airtight and they're really good quality and the openings are big enough to put your measuring cups in we had glass containers before that just weren't big enough and so these are just they work so much better and they're just so convenient they have everything that you would need or that you didn't even know that you needed in them i'm having like an ultimate 90s mom moment with my dust buster <laughs> this is like the most ridiculous thing to be excited about but again i have a small child he spills stuff all over the floor and he's crawling all over the floor so if there are crumbs or anything like that i always want to just make sure that it's nice and clean and he's not sticking something gross in his mouth so yeah I've been loving this. There's a few things that I just absolutely think are so good about it. And one of them is that this, you don't need attachments that aren't connected. This just pulls up and then locks into place and it's longer. And then you can just push it back down. And then this brush attachment just goes up or back down. So I love that, that everything's just built into it. You don't have to worry about finding different things. I wanted something like this because pulling out our actual vacuum every single day when I see something small is just not realistic. And this I can just grab and it stays charged for a while. Like I haven't charged it in probably like six or seven days and I can just grab it, suck up whatever I need to suck up and call it a day. Call it a day. I'm not using it for like large surfaces obviously I would just get the regular vacuum out but for just small little messes this has just been amazing and it's really easy to empty out I just I really like it if you can't tell I also don't know that that would work if you had pets we don't have any pets and so we don't have like hair or anything like that I mean besides my shedding but we don't have like dog hair or anything that we're trying to clean up it's literally just like crumbs and dust and whatever else. I want to show you this pair of leggings that I got off of Amazon. I'm in that like postpartum phase where I'm really trying to lose the baby weight finally and uh, yeah I don't want to buy like more expensive leggings at every size and just trying to figure it out so these were really inexpensive and they're super soft, they're high-waisted, they suck you in, they're flattering, 
they're just everything that I want and need in a pair of leggings. And then the last item that I want to show you, I will show you after Theo gets up because he is wearing it right now and it is his new sleep sack. So we were using the Merlin's baby sleep sack and we liked it, but um, he started to outgrow it. I think we got like the small size or something. The one that we just got is unbelievably soft. It's made of bamboo and it's made for I think six months to 24 months. So it's really long, but it doesn't matter how long it is. And it comes in different thicknesses so you can get whatever you need based on like where you live, time of year, how old your baby is, etc. what they're wearing to bed. But he has been loving it and I love it. It's super soft and I know that Although it was pricey, we're going to get so much use out of it because it, it is longer, so it'll last for longer. Alrighty, guys, those are all of my random favorites from February. I told you they were random. I don't even think there was a single makeup product. Like, the lip balm was the closest we got to makeup this month. That's just where, we're, where we were at. I really, I haven't worn makeup every single day, which is crazy, but... Anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave so you don't miss any of my future videos. And I will see you in my next one. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.